God damn it. I want the truth. You can't handle the truth. And speaking of drawing, everybody, I just want to welcome to you to a special edition of Face the Truth. And uh, this this guy has been, um, I mean, it, gosh, talking about time and everything, kind of, it, it's unreal how time, <laughs> as how fast time goes, and how how many years seem to, seem to go by so fast. But um, I have been a fan of this guy's work for so long. I've been a professional illustrator myself for 20 years now. And I can't even believe that. It's really hard to even imagine. And uh, but, but even before that, this guy was someone that I looked up to. I saw his work and then for years, just um, the thing I love about his work, um, the, the, the caricature type stuff that I first, you know, became aware of was what he was just talking about, the, the obvious obsession and passion with drawing. Drawing is is very clearly something that he loves to do, and his drawings are so full of life and energy, um, and not just the political caricature type stuff, but like um, he does these beautiful, beautiful drawings of um, you know wounded soldiers and different things like that, which he could probably talk about. Um, there's a lot of different drawings um, and styles that he does, but his drawings are full of life, um, and you know. I've even heard some people say that his some of his drawings are so simple, like, but that's what that's what's that's what you'd be dangerously wrong about that because they might have that look because they're sketchy, a lot of them, but there is so much in there <laughs> that I know as an artist where I'm when I look at his drawings I'm like damn, and sometimes I get mad because <laughs> I'm like god damn, but anyways I'm a huge fan. It's good to get mad. We all get yeah. mad. We think to ourselves. Ah. <laughs> can I get that, you know? Yeah. I love this guy. Everyone, please welcome Victor Huas. So this, the first, I don't know if you can see the Putin I opened. Um, but, Which um, one? Was it the uh, is it the bl the blue and white sketch the blue pencil sketch yeah yep yeah that was something okay this goes back to social media now okay. there's not a goddamn thing there's not a goddamn event that happens that if you're not moving right away all right if you're not in that frame of mind of oh, I got to be in the studio and I got to be drawn all the time because uh, the, the, the 24 hour news cycle is it's just relentless. Yeah. And things started going bad after this became obvious that things were not going for, the, for well for the Russians after the second day. And um, I quickly sketched this down. It's not a great Putin. It's a, as a matter of fact, it's a sucky Putin. I put, but I had to post it on my Instagram and on my Facebook page. To get you Why? To, to, for your because idea to be I first. To, well, yeah, I wanted to yeah. say at least, um, here's my take on it. And this is documenting when I, when I posted it, all right? Yeah. Now, co coincidentally, Barry Blitt had also come out with a Putin in a tank, but with a, with a very skin-toned uh, gun barrel, all right, coming out of the <laughs> <laughs> and it was erect. Yeah, that was not my take. Yeah, you're. I, yeah. I saw. I saw kind of like I. I read it immediate, almost immediately, uh, especially since I got some friends who were in the military who were following this whole uh, war over there like hawks, and just finding the most uh, the most fascinating live stream, and they were saying this is not going to go well. This is going to be a real disaster for the Russians. They, they're totally in over their head yeah and uh but i had to put this down so and i when i and as a matter of fact when i did post that <sighs> excuse me 
that pencil sketch on Instagram and Facebook, I did note Barry Blitz and I actually posted his drawing as well because this is so much the case in illustration. You can have a bunch of us having the same idea at the same time. Yeah. It's happened with Steve Rodner. It's the same thing with stand-up. <laughs> yes, of course. You, 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 you know, like when, when Alec ba Baldwin um, shot, you know, shot that person accidentally, um, it, the, the day it happened, I was doing stand-up that night, and I was like, I, my, I wanted to open up with it, you know, with something about it, but I was so nervous because there's like five, six comics before me that someone was going to say something similar. And, um, and they didn't. So I, I, I lucked out and I got and th that joke only worked basically one time or two times because then it's old news, yeah. but it's the same thing is like, there's certain things that are going on in the world. And, um, you want to try to like, you're always trying to write new bits, new material to, to add to your, your, you know, the stuff that, you know, works. Um, but uh, yeah, the whole time I was sitting there, I was so nervous. I'm like, oh no, please don't say anything. Please don't say anything. And someone would get up. I'm like, oh, I know this guy's going to say something. He doesn't. I'm like, oh. So then I got to get up there and say it. Well, so, <laughs> so I've got this, so I've got this uh, di uh, different take on a dick joke. Yeah. Uh, and um, I like yours better. I threw it, it out to a couple, of, I threw it out to a couple of publications and they, they, they weren't biting. Uh, so they didn't, they didn't, uh, they felt it was too, too, um, well, it was, the news hadn't really evolved yet. They didn't know which way it was going to go. I'm looking at the, the more finished looking one now. Right. You know. So then I, I kind of worked it up a little bit more. I, I, I did a couple of versions and then it was a matter of, look, as a matter of fact, uh, I love it. Then it was a matter of just finding the right expression on Putin. And drawing it, that the rest of the picture was the, was colored in in Photoshop. Yeah. But since nobody was biting, I contacted Matt Taibbi, who has his Substack uh, uh, page, uh, and and I said, um, "You do? Are you doing any commentary on this on this invasion? Uh, you want a dick? You want a dick joke?" Yeah, yeah, I'm always good for a dick joke. So he ran it on his page, uh, along with his article uh, on on Putin's big, you know, on this being a big, uh, a colossal mistake for Putin. Yeah, and it went viral. It went viral. It went. Uh, That's awesome. And I, and, I, and I can't, I can't verify, but I saw a number of European uh, Twitter accounts that were saying. Putin's banned this in Russia. So keep, <laughs> oh, keep posting it, keep reposting it, you know? So that was awesome. kind of funny. That was, that, was, that was a little bit of weird notoriety. Yeah. And then the piece in the center, which was, uh, which is uh, something I always love to do, which is parody great yeah. works of art. This was taking Jacques-Louis David's Napoleon at, at Crossing the Alps. And, um, <laughs> Only uh, turning that that uh, that horse's ass into a fire, but the fires are, are the colors of the uh, the Ukrainian flag. Yeah, Putin, Putin has been bucked. He's he's laying in the mud, and um, the whole thing is the whole thing is a a nicely constructed parody. Yeah, uh, of, of the painting, of the, of the original, and. Uh, that's it works funny. on a lot of levels uh, from, from in terms of topicality. I had, I had somebody send me a, a whole treatise on, on the interpretation of what all that meant. And I was like, wow, you have, you have really spent a lot of time, way too much time thinking about this one. Uh, even the expression, right down to the expression of the horse. Why was the horse looking that way? And blah, 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 blah. So I said, okay, interesting. <laughs> uh, thank you thank you very much i appreciate that um, his ass is on fire <laughs> his ass is on fire that's fine he's been, he's been uh, the only thing i didn't add and i oh he also noted that, that, that i got that line of russian troops on a retreat all looking mm. banged up in the original painting there's there are troops moving up the hill 
-hmm. in David's painting. So what did we, what can we do? What can we do as artists? Well, I, I kind of uh, was talking first to Michael Gerber, who, who publishes the American Bystander. And we were kind of like thinking, what can we do? Can we get artists together and start, uh, can we have, but it was going to take too much time. It was going to require finding backers and stuff like that too. So I threw it out there and I said, you know, for, for 150 or more, um, I'll, I'll send you a print of the piece. And I'll you know I'll sign it, personalize it, and I'll the 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 shipping will be on my dime. Just send me proof that you you gave to a certain reputable organization that's that's providing humani humanitarian aid. And we've got we've got a, a nice fistful of uh, people who who took me up on it. Mm. So a, a little money got raised, and they they not only did they show their receipt. That meant that they took the tax deduction. So I wasn't even going to uh, do it that way. You know, I, they could have paid me and I could have sent that money in and, and written that off. But no, I said, this, this will be yours. It's a win-win in every level, in every way for you to, 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 when you get it, when you, uh, when you purchase this, uh, the piece. Hmm. So it was good. Yeah, that's but, cool. uh, that's, but this is the kind of work that people more associate with me with. Even though it's becoming less and less the work that I do on a on a professional published basis. Yeah. No, I love I love it. No, I love like your, your. I always love your your style and your take on things. It's, it is it's always funny, but there's always um, you know, like just for me, like as a caricature illustrator, you know, the just the I love your approach on your likenesses. <coughs> And um, just the expression is really funny. Like I love the tank one. Um, just you're you're just talking caricature wise, the way that you, you know, positioned his features, um, where you where you focus the weight of the face and the expression. Um, because Putin's an interesting person to draw because I've, I've seen a lot of people just miss him. Yeah. Um, you know, he's got anybody, anybody is, 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 uh, is missable. Um, I've, I've missed, I've, I've missed plenty of times. Yeah. Um, uh, anyway. Um, and that was, that's Google search. That's finding that one tell expression. And, and uh, exploiting that as much as possible, you know? And that's yeah. what, I think that's the most amazing thing about all these, all this uh, seemingly endless uh, trove, trove of reference pictures that we can find now. We can find that yeah. tell, that pose. And for me, you, you've exaggerated in the past, like, You've stretched figures out. I've I've done that at times, but it, I, for me, it's more like trying to get into the into the the, the psyche of the person you're, you're you're drawing. So it's not necessary for me. I don't see it as as really requiring uh, a, a a need to do all sorts of di weird distortions of the face. Mm -hmm. I'm more going. I want to go internally and and uh say something about the person yeah right which means kind of staying closer to what they look like <coughs> but just enough pulling out what what the features that you think are are the tells about what you're trying to get across you know right. hey everybody i hope you enjoyed this to see the rest of this episode please check out patreon.com slash jason siler Victor gets into a bunch of his work that's never really been seen before, sketches and paintings on current book projects he's working on, and a whole bunch more.